You've got to love cabbage. There's so many ways to use it. Coleslaw, stir fries, stuffed cabbages. Some people even juice it. However you like to use it, I'm going to show you some easy ways to cut it. How do you cut something like a cabbage? This cabbage head, I've already cut off a piece on this side so that I'm laying the flat side down so it's going to be more stable. And you want to remove these outer leaves. Sometimes the outer leaves are kind of not so fresh and wouldn't be so tasty. So I just take those off and discard them. Now, you've already seen me demonstrate the type of cut where we keep the tip of the knife anchored on the board for things that are low. Obviously, this is a higher vegetable, so we're going to want to have our knife lifted up up the board and let's say you just want to dice some cabbage. So I'm going to use my safe hand hold as always and using a slight sewing motion I'm slicing through and now I have this piece that's going to be a little bit more manageable to use. Now for something like this, this is maybe like an inch tall, I'm still going to keep my knife not with the tip on the board. I'm going to slice through. Now I'm not really cutting a lot of this but if I was doing a lot of chopping you could start to use a circular motion where you're not using so much the strength of your wrist and your hand, but you're almost using more like gravity with that circular motion. So if you needed to shred up a lot of cabbage for sauerkraut, for example, you could do something like that. So you'll see me demonstrate cutting cabbage again in the sauerkraut video in this program, but just wanted to give you a heads up on how to do this. So this is going to be for our dicing, and I do want to demonstrate also how to do some fine shredding. So for fine shredding, you could potentially um, keep the tip of your knife anchored on the board because this is not that tall. And just slice thinly up through. Now let's say that you want to make some fine shreds, some finely shredded cabbage as if you were making sauerkraut. In that case, you can separate the leaves so that this is not so thick and um, it's a little less tall. Just maybe take a couple of leaves and put those flat on the board. Take your time and slice up through nice and fine. This is going to give you much more um, thin pieces. Again, I'm walking my holding hand backwards. When you get to that end piece, don't feel like you have to cut that. You know, it's not worth risking cutting yourself. If you feel nervous about holding something so skinny, just add that to, you know, a dish where you need thicker pieces like that. So that's basically how you get your nice thin cuts on cabbage and thicker cuts depending what you're making. Now if you needed to dice this cabbage for some reason you would basically just cut it the other direction. I'll show you that too. So I've gathered together my strips of cabbage into a nice neat little pile and then I'm just going to simply cut the other direction. If I want a small dice which is a quarter of an inch square we're going to just keep that in mind. Although your cabbage will not look perfect, it's slightly irregular to begin with, so they're not going to be totally perfect squares. And there's your small dice on your green cabbage. Now that you know how to cut cabbage, you can use it in your favorite recipes and enjoy all of the health benefits that cabbage offers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time.